They, they probably have a diff like set all the wreckage, but they probably don't even need to use it because they just don't need to. They're gaining back so much life. Okay, I mean, we are drawing stuff. It's just such a shame we can't do anything about it. Resculpt. So not even resculpt can... T yeah, even the shroud. Hello and welcome to the channel. If you've not hit, been here before, this is a place where you can find some pretty interesting and unique history of decks. Today we're looking at Kira, Great Glass Spinner. This is an old card, but it was re reprinted in Jumpstart last year, I think. And it's strange because we don't really see it represented that much on his type brawl but it's super powerful three mana two two flying creatures you control have whenever this creature becomes a target of a spell or ability for the first time counter that spell or ability really effective essentially it says that your creatures have protection from one kill spell per turn be wary though this works if you have equipment so that's why i haven't put any equipment in the deck because if you try and equip one of your creatures with this ability it will counter it because equipping is an ability and it is sad because obviously flyers go really well with equipment so this wants to go over the top um but probably go wide strategy is, is where the deck shines the most some of the best cards in the deck kindred discovery so name a creature type and whenever a creature you control of the chosen type enters or attacks draw a card so the deck is a spirits tribal theme i thought let's do something a bit weird a bit different so that's probably one of the best cards you need to craft if you're making this deck reflections of Lichara is the second one you need because whenever you cast a spirit you'll get a copy of it so obviously with legends this doesn't work very well but with there's quite a few other spirits within the deck that get really good um, if you were to cast that Kyrie being one of them if you legend rule this guy it actually works out in your favor because when the legend dies the copy legend dies you can activate one of his death triggers so return any number of target none and permanents with total cmc6 to their own hands this includes tokens so tokens are cost zero which means if they have a million tokens you can return all of them to their hand very powerful or you could opt for the mill six and return two spells back to your hands that's pretty good as well so that's one of the biggest spirits in the deck we have stuff that wants to go sideways with coastal piracy so lots of creatures smack them in the face draw lots of cards exactly the same here is reconnaissance mission which is really powerful i want to experiment with the wicker wing effigy this is kind of cool alchemy card so you can cast the top card of your deck if it's a creature but it turns it into a blackbird um obviously it won't be a, a spirit at this point but it's just like a, a mini bird is set for creatures it makes them into one ones but they'll still have the ability that kira uh, grants that grants all of your creatures this ability so that's really cool there's some other cool spirits like cemetery illuminator you've got nebel Her herald to tap something uh, flash that one in there's not all of the great spirits because i just didn't have the wild cards but feel free to add whatever spirits you want that's the beauty of a tribal deck you can put in your favorite ones it doesn't matter what i use just change it up a bit if you don't like my list but if you do want to see the list, it will be in the description below. So why don't you give this one a go? Spirit Tribal, very well protected. Just a, a fun deck. And you shouldn't see too many massively strong decks using this one. So I hope you enjoy the content. Let's uh, get into the video. Don't forget to like, sub, and you can also become a channel member to dictate exactly what videos you want to see next. So check that out. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Okay, so we're facing Unesh. Uh, and a pretty expensive Sphinx tribal deck. Well, saying that, I mean, it does make all the Sphinx cost two less, so... Let's just get the Mox Amber out now if we can. If they counter it, then they counter it. No? Okay, cool. So we've got a pretty... Pretty decent hand. Mischievous Cat Geist is kind of cool. I don't think they can counter this with one blue. Okay, they can cycle a card, of course. And that, like the fact we've resolved this is pretty epic against blue. That they, they have a blocker. Okay, so they have a blocker, which means they're going to be able to have Unesh next turn, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, unless they want to block, of course. I mean, if they want to block, they they can block. Um, the only issue now is how the hell are we going to deal with the Unesh? Unesh on turn four is pretty goddamn good. Lands or non land thing. I think that's the the deal. As if it draws them, like, that's crazy. Like, it's just 
crazy here. So they took the one over the three. Okay, so they lost three ramp effects. We can tap down the Unesh, which could actually be pretty, pretty good here. So it won't untap. I mean, maybe going for the Mir would have been better, but... Um, yeah, let's swing in, so we're going to get to draw an extra card. So we're now looking for something that can um, mass bounce of, of some kind. They've got three, four, five, six, seven. They can cast such huge Sphinx Zuzuz. Guild of Lotus. Five. Arcane Signet. So they're just basically got loads of ramp. Interesting. I'm just going to swing in then. I mean, they could have a... Could have some kind of bouncy thing. No? Okay. So we draw a card. Are they going to have a follow-up for Unash? This is the interesting thing. So, if we go for this, we still have the counter spell up. So the counter the Kira, I think we just leave the counter spell up anyway, because we've got such good... Otawara. Okay. Interesting. So they wanted to untap that. Cool. I'm not really like bothered about a 4-4 being able to attack, really. Like, we can just recast the Dungeon Geist next turn. We now have something that can protect our whole team from abilities. I don't really feel that worried. Swinging in. Okay. If they're swinging in, maybe they've got a River's Rebuke. Three, four, five, six. No? Okay. Phasing himself here. Why did they bounce the Dungeon Geists only to the attack with the Unesh? Is that weird? Okay. Yeah, maybe that was weird because I thought the idea was to block, but... Ah, I'll take that win. Okay, we get first against Goshin Tai, but we do have the Leyline in the opening hand, which is just fantastic. The Nasa as well can be, um, could be effective, depending on how much draw they have, which I'm not really sure. Get the Goshin Tai decks normally just want to spam the field. Let's see what we're facing. Is there going to be turn one thoughts he's? No? Okay. So, because we have the flash, we're going to just feign having counter magic up the entire time. They could just have a kill spell for this here. That would be annoying, but... I guess it gets rid of it if they do. Hmm. So they... They may have counter magic. Because they're, they're holding priority... Assassin's Trophy is going to ramp us. And that is kind of fair. Uh... Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not that bothered, to be honest. So we've got the force field is now up completely. So they're going to have to... The only way they can get rid of this currently is board wipes easily, but... Let's see if they make the mistake of targeting this. Ocean tie, okay. So we it would be nice to get some kind of answer for any of their threats, to be honest. Counter spell, well that's definitely an answer. It's got first strike though. So maybe we go for the icon and then it will mean that our Kira is uh, enough to block. So let's see if that's enough to hold them off for a little bit. Because if they target anything with this, um, they're going to have to pay one. Well, they won't for the Nar set, but they will for the Kira itself. Tap plan means we're not going to see the Goshen tie. Borrow time. Going for the Ancestry. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, so they basically wanted to finish off the uh, the NAR set there. I see. That actually does make a lot of sense. I think we are going to block, though. This terrible, terrible block, but I really want to get one more hit with the NAR set because we cannot guarantee... Um, okay. Okay. Keep an open mind. Chart, of course, will be good. So we've got four, five, six, seven, eight... Right, so for some reason it wants to tap 
badly. But yeah, we'll go like this. And then we've got two options. So if they attack again, we can bounce the borrowed time. And then the Kira will be bigger. We'll see what they do. I mean, they've got... Okay, so yeah, I do think we just need to try and counter this here. And then if they attack into Narset, I guess we'll just let it go. Who, who would have thought that a 2-2 was uh, annoying enough with First Strike to challenge our Kira? But there you go. Ooh, okay. So now we can start... Drawing cards, seeing what we get here. Fantastic. Send it Spirit. Nice. Okay. So the Ascendant, the Ascendant Spirit should be a nice way to gain some card advantage. Um, if they have a board wipe, it does kind of wreck us a bit. Sanctum. Yeah, it's so nice having this Kira as a force field. She just protects your entire team. I don't know what gender this is. It's a weird looking creature. Sterling Grove. Yikes. They've all got Shroud now. That is pretty damn powerful, I have to say. Um, so we can level this up here. And then do we want to bounce something? So if we bounce this, they'll just have to recast it again. Or we can maybe bounce the Sterling Grove. Oh, it's got Shroud, isn't it? Fine, I think we're going to have to just bounce this because otherwise we're not going to get a chance to target anything. Ooh, okay. That's not a bad card. We could just steal the Goshen Tire. We could just wait till the next turn to steal um, their commander. But then it could have um, hex proof by that point. So should we just steal the Goshen Tai now and get two of them? Oh no, but then we'll just... Um, the issue with that is... We're not going to get much use, but they've got the Sterling Grove. So they play a land, they can go for Goshen Tai, but they won't have enough also for the Sterling Grove. Um, yeah, I think... I think we just pass a turn here. I just don't really want to steal this. It's just not very powerful to steal that by itself. And, and also because it's a legend, we're not even going to get a copy of it. Right, okay. So they've gone for the Goshen Tar, which means we can steal that instead. Seems legit. I like this, actually. Because removing their commander from the equation is actually kind of good. Let's get a card with the Skate to Sea Tower first. Spectral Sailor, okay. So we can do this, make that the stage in the middle. So we're also almost at the ultimate stage here. So whenever this creature becomes a target spell, but uh, no, not that bit. If it is an angel, put two counters on it and it gains. Whenever it hits, draw a card. We have quite a bit of flying. Do we have lethal? We. If we got this back, would that be enough? 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. No, there's no way to get that back anyway. I think we just steal the Goshen Tie, right? Because, because otherwise we're just not going to get a window. Okay. And then we can flash in the Spectral Adversary without any value, but... So if they have a board wipe, that's terrible for us. But how many board wipes does a Goshen Tide player actually use? Don't know, maybe they've got Farewell or Casualties or something. Yeah, ha having this Kira is so crazy, because it also protects creatures we steal. So even if they want to get the Goshen Tide back, ooh, Meat Hook for four. That's going to completely wipe everything um we can't even protect face something out so we keep the spirit i guess um okay although although oh no we're gonna lose the whole team because the phantom's gonna die yep that completely takes out our whole team ah oh, they got so lucky with that Okay, I still think we flash this in anyway. Because we want to be able to... Um, 
j just poke damage basically right let's just exile something from the graveyard next turn with the illuminator I think we also draw a card here man that massacre was was really powerful just enough as well they just they had just enough mana if they had one mana less they would have uh, they would not have been able to take out our, our team oh my god the life gain is going to be crazy right let's see if we can get anything on top of our deck here they're going to gain too much life i think uh i guess this I don't think we can come back from this now. Because they gain two, four. Oh well. We'll try our best. Nine, and they drain us for two more. Oh man, that's so sad. Yeah, I think they might have just gotten us here. We still have four seals up, but again, one board wipe, and it will just destabilize our whole team. They seem to have gotten really lucky with the fact that they got the two life gain shrines but i guess it could be worse binding as well what's that gonna go for gold seal heart yeah makes sense herald's horn on top shame there's no oh there is an artifact okay so we can actually cast our herald's horn now okay okay let's have a look to see how this goes there's an instant on top you know what we might be able to get back from this. We can counter something because this lets us cast an instant on each turn. So this can actually save our butts. Okay. They are gaining a lot of life though. And they are draining. They don't they don't even have to attack to drain us. Enchantment. Sadly, the off you can't refuse does not counter. Their commander. Um, and the Herald's Horn won't be giving us a creature. Yeah. Okay, another enchantment. They're playing a lot of just little enchantments that don't seem to do much. So that that's coming to hand. Land on top. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Just having so many lands on the top here. Looks like they've got some kind of they've got some kind of spell that might they might be able to use to protect themselves here. Get rid of that. Man, it would be nice if we could get something rather than just lands. I really don't think we have much of a chance, sadly. Not with this uh, sanctum. They're gaining four a turn, but we can only deal. S how much are we dealing? Uh, six. Ugh, barely any, any, any impact. We got another shrine now. <laughs> no value whatsoever. Enchantment on top. I guess we can cast that. Spell on top, but we don't have any targets because they've all got shroud. Unless we bounce the adversary to our hand. I mean, what does that even do? Not really sure, to be honest. I guess it, okay, it does mean we can get a copy of it, though. All right, we'll, we'll see what we do here. I think this will be our final turn, though. Sanctum. So that just gives them mana, but it gives them an extra two life. It gives them an extra drain as well. Yeah, I think this will probably be our final turn to do any impact here at all. Yeah, what a shame. Okay, let's try and bounce this. Oh, it's going to get counted, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Fine. Kind of pinted ourselves there. Kindred Discovery. This is like our last ditch attempt here to draw something other than lands. 
Right, we draw three cards. I mean, surely there's something. Land and a river's rebuke. <laughs> that would do it. Uh, I guess we can go for... Doesn't really make a difference, does it? Sorcery. Yeah, we're just going to die to the Sanctum. Yeah, it's pretty sad. Pretty sad. They, they probably have a diff like set all the wreckage, but they probably don't even need to use it because they just don't need to. They're gaining back so much life. Okay, I mean, we are drawing stuff. It's just such a shame we can't do anything about it. Resculpt. So not even resculpt can... T yeah, even the shroud. As if we get double creatures as well. Double creatures, double draw, and it's still not good enough to stop the drain. So how much do they drain the drain? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. There's literally nothing we can do. I don't think there is. Like, we're literally drawing two cards off every cast here. And they still decide to give me more um, land on top. Okay. Yep, yeah, okay, cool. We just died to the Sanctum then. Oh well. It was cool to see the engine, the reflections with the Kindred Discovery, but yeah, we just, we can't target any of this stuff. And we died to the Sanctum. Damn. That's a shame, just to die to an uncommon like that, but oh well. Okay, we go first against Old Stick Fingers. Uh, we don't have any creatures in our hand. So I think we're going to... I think we're going to mulligan this. It just doesn't feel that great. This one is a bit better. Okay. The Eliminator excites me quite a bit because they have a graveyard deck. And it's probably... Oh, nuts. Okay, so turn one. Dark Ritual into an arena. Sure. We can slow them down. We can, we can return it to their hand. So essentially... In a way, it was like they used the th a thought seize on a blink of an eye. That's kind of the same thing that just happened there. Um, so what should we do next? I think we'll go for the Cemetery Illuminator, just because it allows us to continually pressure the graveyard and potentially cast off at the top. Like, if they go for the Stick Fingers and they put something in the bin and we can attack with the Illuminator, we can exile creatures in the graveyard. So if they have a reanimation deck... Oh my goodness me, they do have a reanimation deck. That's pretty obvious here. So the thing that scares us the most would probably be the Tyrannix Rex. Okay, definitely. Because this thing... Oh, damn, that's going to be scary as well. Uh, I guess we start doing stuff off the top. So we're not going to be able to target this because it's got Hexproof and Haste. If they reanimate something... We are in a lot of trouble. I think we want to bounce the Mind Stone. This is going to sound really weird, but most reanimation spells are about five mana. So returning that slows them down a bit. And we want to be able to exile the Crag Plate Baloth from the graveyard before they can get it out. And I think this Illuminator has honestly just um, potentially saved us, to be perfectly honest. We don't want to block or bounce the stick fingers because why did they do that? <laughs> I don't really know why they did that, um, to be honest. Bit of a strange use of, use of a protection spell. I mean, maybe there's something we're not seeing, but I think, yeah, we absolutely annihilate it. I can almost guarantee to you that they had a reanimation spell in the hand and we stopped them with the graveyard effect. So... Never underestimate the power of graveyard removal. It's super good, super good, and can win you games from literally out of nowhere. 
Did you know that you can help my channel by watching another one of my videos? Go ahead, you know you want to.